Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitch from ATF Gaming and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3. Today we will <laughs> pick up where we left off. Um, we do have an Xfinity race at Bristol, so we'll definitely do that, but um, kind of glad I took a week off of this after those cup hot seat offers we had last week. I was a bit um, down in the dumps about this, so... Took a week off, rejuvenated it, and now we're back ready to go. So let's head off to the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 at Bristol. Alright, let's see where we qualify here at Bristol. Third. I did think those were some pretty good laps I put down there, so I will agree with that positioning. Teammates in 19th, I believe I saw. Let's start the race. Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300. Ryan Priest had to replace transmission. Alright. Christopher Bell had a good qualifying session. And there we are right behind him. Alright. Drive safe. Be smart. Keep your head on straight. Almost ready now. Green's out. Let's go. Car there on the outside. Green flag is out. Let's see if, what we got here. I... Since we qualified so well, I'm going to assume this is going to be a pretty fast race car. Uh, because you don't qualify well by accident in this game. So, I'm going to assume we're doing pretty well. We do have a little bit of wheel spin off the corner when I'm trying to really drive it out. Oh boy. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Did not have that in uh, qualifying, so that's a, a new issue to deal with here. But I think me and Bell are going to have a good battle here, hopefully. If everything goes to plan, I should have have should have had an announcement video go out yesterday, uh, discussing some long-term plans for the channel uh, and I hope you guys are excited about that I'm looking forward to it again it's long-term plans so it won't be coming to fruition I mean it will be starting obviously now but the end result probably won't be coming to fruition for quite a long time realistically um, but hopefully throughout that time we manage to grow the channel. Maybe we can get into monetization range again. And yeah, but it's just something to kind of, that that will give me a motivator to keep going. Because I've been really struggling for motivation. Um, this game was one of the few motivating factors I had left with the YouTube channel before last week. And then it just kind of took, all, took the wind out of my sails, I guess. But... Took a week off, did some thinking, and I think I'm ready to go with this, so. We took the lead. We got a second lead over Cole Custer now, so. I do think lap traffic will play a factor probably in the third stage, I would predict. Let's see how many laps we, we'll, we'll keep you guys in. But yeah, um, doing all of the NASCAR games in order for the most part, obviously the... The three outliers we have are uh, Heat Revolution, well actually, no, two outliers, because Heat Revolution we didn't finish, I don't think. Um, heat 2 and Heat 3 will be All the right, outliers, because obviously we completed Heat 2 and I'm aiming to complete Heat 3 here. But other than that, we'll be going back through the series either starting or picking up where we left off, all the career modes, and attempting to finish all of them and work our way through through the NASCAR game starting with Dirt to Daytona. Um, I know technically Thunder 2003 came out before Dirt to Daytona but I'm starting with Dirt to Daytona. Anyway we won the stage. Um, oh boy okay. Um, We'll do that. You lost 10 spots by doing that. Okay. 
We were very. I probably didn't need to pit, but I'm more concerned about tires than anything. This is a fairly long race. You gotta keep in mind, but. Alright, got a little work to do here in stage two. Ten laps again. But we should be good on fuel to the end now. Got some unusual names up here with uh, Alex LeBay. You got room. You're clear. But hopefully if we can just stick to the bottom for the most part, we should be able to get around these guys fairly Careful. easily. Our teammate in fifth place after starting, what, 19th, I believe it was? So good for him. Good run. He hasn't been doing too hot this year, so. While I personally in real life don't like the guy, he is my teammate in this universe. So I will attempt to support him as much as I can. But of course, you're still slow, so I'm going to pass you. All right, we're up to fourth already. Considering our speed in stage one, I would think that we'd be able to get back up to the lead, but who knows? In case if I haven't confirmed this already, I will be staying on hard difficulty for the remainder of this season. Um, especially after those Cup Series races, I don't see myself ever going to Legend difficulty ever again. And, well, those were all on hard, but... I mean, I was struggling on hard, so that's why I would not see myself going to Legend. As far as, like, the difficulty goes on the, you know, work my way through the series, it's going to be whatever I see fit to make it enjoyable. I'm not going to always challenge myself to do the hardest difficulty, but there will be some games that I do the hardest difficulty on, like NASCAR 06, uh, Chase for the Cup 2005, definitely. Um, sorry, Christopher. Um, we did it in NASCAR Heat 2, so I, I can say that we did it there. Um, maybe some of the Eutechnics game, but I'm not quite sure yet. I don't have a ton of experience with the Eutechnics game, so that's going to be a bit of an adventure for sure when we get there, but that's a long ways away. And then some of the other miscellaneous games, um, probably will be on hard difficulty as well. That is the wall. Alright, we're kind of struggling here in stage two. Sadler definitely got a number for us. I don't know where he came from either. He's been somebody who must have benefited from that pitch strategy, but I really do want the stage win. I just don't think I can get it with Christopher Bell being on my inside. Let's see if we can at least get second. We'll do a crossover here. Okay, a little bump and run. All right, we got second. Oh, well. Still, we got one stage win out of it. I believe we're all good on fuel now. Oh, yeah, by far. So we will not be pitting. And we're going to start on the front row here. I hope that we might be able to cut some of this out. But based on my relative difficulty in stage two, I'm not so sure. As we start in the tire marks of a spinning Christopher Bell. <laughs> All right, if I can pass Sadler with relative ease quickly, I think I can pull away. Or at least for a little while until we get to the lap traffic. Alright, we will try to do the slide job here. Alright, we are in the lead. Now let's see if we can maintain it. Christopher Bell is now inserting himself into the picture again. Got to really manage the wheel spin off the corner as well. It's only when I'm actually in the corner in kind of a middle groove. If I'm exiting on this high groove, there's no wheel spin at all. So, I guess we can just keep that in mind and manage the situation. But Christopher Bell is staying right with me, kind of foiling my plans of being able to cut away a bit. I don't know if we can win this race, honestly. We pulled away in stage one, but stage two and, st and now stage three has definitely been a challenge. Eleven laps to go. I'm going to hit the wall here, but that's fine. It'll help me turn a bit. 
Alright, clear low. Got a car coming inside now. Alright, 10 to go. Keep it nice and smooth for 10 us. laps to go. This has been a ridiculous side-by-side -side battle, but I think Bell finally got a good Careful, brief no upper way. hand here. I'm going to try to drive it in deep here and maybe pull a crossover move on him. Nope, Bell got the lead. I am going to try to do Careful, maybe a slide there. job maneuver. Nope, not quite. But I'm at least side-by-side -side with him again. Careful, still there. You got room, you're clear. Now I can pull a slide job on him. All right, we're back into the lead. We'll see how long it lasts this time. But I'm, I'm glad that we still have a bit of a challenge every now and then. A uh, mile and a half is going to be really easy for us, but everywhere else is definitely still going to be a challenge, I think. We're actually gapping Christopher Bell a bit. Wasn't expecting that after the battle he just fought. But we are going to be interacting with some lap traffic here, which will probably bring him right back to me, realistically. A good old Morgan Shepard here. We'll try to we'll try to stick to the bottom as best as we can. Since I know the AI likes to run the high side. And I feel like they would choose to pin, pinch me to the wall. Um, if I do try to pass them on the outside, so we'll try to stick to the bottom here. All right, you're clear there. First time we've seen some of these back markers in a while, that's for sure. Got one up top. But we never ran any hot seat offers on this series, so. You're clear. First time we're seeing these guys back here in this playthrough. Alright, long... I've been committed to the bottom. I'd appreciate okay. it if you did the you same. You. You're clear. Okay, we got a little close for comfort there. Three laps to go. We have got a second gap. We've got a Cavs Growler just sitting on the bottom of the track there. No caution. And I'd appreciate it if it stays that way because I think I'll win this race and unless if there's a caution. Even though Christopher Bell left. is catching up again. He got by that lap traffic just as fast as I did. Oh, now Kaz Grawl is in the middle of the track. Well. Caution. What was I supposed to do there? I, if I had swerved to the bottom, my car would have lost control because this game doesn't have good physics. And if I went to the top, I was going to hit Joe like I did there. There wasn't much I could do with that. It does look like Christopher got a, <laughs> a big dunt right. from that incident. I don't know if it was from yeah. Joe or if it was from... Cav Growl just stopped in the middle of the track. But now we got a green white checkered to sort this deal out, and I'm not thrilled about that in the slightest because usually restarts are not my forte. Alright, we cleared him, but now we got Jeremy Clements coming on the inside now. Okay. That's unusual. Don't hit the wall. Alright, three and four, if we can hold Jeremy Clements off, I think we got a win here. And we do! Alright, that was a tough, that was a tough win right there. Yeah, let's do a burnout, I feel like I deserve it after that one. Alright. But yeah, that was a tough win right there. Really had to work for that one. I want to see the Cavs Growler incident here. Okay, so there goes Growler. He's in the wall. So he stops there. So he's just there. If I go to long replay, will it show any more than that? Like, you know, the part where I actually got into him? He just lost it. That wasn't a flat tire or anything. He just lost it. 
unusual for sure. Nope. All right, that was a bit anticlimactic. But we win. We also won stage one. Elliot Sadler won a stage. Some good finishes for some unusual drivers up front here. John Hunter Nemechek, not a good finish, and we lapped up to 34th. So, a good race all in all. We should get a decent payday from that. Again, all of this money is being saved for the for our teams for next year. All right, we're second in points. So that's our third win of the season. We're leading the playoff point battle. Here we are in victory lane. That's another win for the happy dog in spirit, of course. But yeah, we'll head back to the menu and see what we got going on next. All right, 5,000 fans. Yeah, more to the incentive contract. What does Chad Fincham want to say? Great win. Just wanted to compliment you on that. Oh, thank you, Chad. Uh, horrible acting, but thank you. What a close finish. Great win. Thank you, Daniel. Frick you, Joe. I just provoked him. Why did I do that? Yeah, we had a good battle, Christopher. All right, what's next? Just an Xfinity race? Okay. Alright, Toyota Care 250 at Richmond. We're going to save that for next episode. Uh, this is going to be an extremely short episode. I apologize for that, but we are doing three episodes a week. So, uh, some, some episodes will be shorter than usual. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content for, from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.